two young women from Northern Europe went on a hike in the mountains of Morocco. It is interesting to try to get an idea of what these two young women were thinking. Most young women that I meet who are not from Northern or Western Europe would shake their heads in disbelief after hearing about two young ladies planning to go on a hike in the mountains of a Muslim country. The perpetrators were from Marrakesh, the same city where the horrible UN migration pact was signed by European leaders. Now what were these two young women thinking? Of course it is impossible to know what a person who isn't alive anymore was thinking, but it is interesting to try to get an idea of the type of world view that these young women must have had. If you are a returning viewer of my channel you are probably well aware of how much of my work is dedicated towards exposing the infiltration of politically correct ideology into education and into the world of academia. So you might already have an idea of where this video is going. Louisa Jespersen. So here we have a woman who completed a gymnasium in a well developed European country. What do children learn at school in Northern Europe? Do they learn about how cultures are different from one another? And about how the fact that women are respected in Europe the way that they are is actually very exceptional? Or do they learn that people are the same everywhere, that all cultures are equal and that in Islam women are respected as much as they are in Europe? I suspect they learn the latter. Jesperson put the following on her Facebook profile. Dear friends, I'm going to Morocco in December. Any of you guys who's around by then or any mountain friends who know something about Mount Tupkal. The idea that the world is a safe place, that people are the same everywhere anyway, that all people in the world are nice and that there really isn't a difference between going on a hike in Switzerland and going on a hike in Morocco and that suggesting otherwise would simply be some form of racism or bigotry against people people from other cultures. These are the type of ideas that get pumped into the soft heads of young people in Northern and Western Europe. And by the way, no, none of her friends knew anything about Mount Topkal. Not even her friends from the gymnasium. The other lady, Marin Uland, in 2015 shared the following German propaganda video on her Facebook profile. Now I also share these type of things on my personal Facebook profile, but then accompanied with criticism a lot. Marin Uland didn't criticize it. She shared it from Sanula Mojadedi with the text beneath it, never judge people by their appearance, with a heart next to it. Sanula Mojadedi being the Islamic deception type that we all know so well, spreading information in the English language designed to both deceive western populations about Islam and to attract western populations towards Islam. Takia and Dawa go hand in hand. Now those who have done their research research easily know how to identify these type of initiatives of deception and even know that the doctrine of Islam recommends this practice of deception in itself, which was also done by Muhammad himself, the great example. However, most young people who have been quote educated in a northern or western European school have no idea that this even exists and would probably accuse you of being a racist if you were to tell them this. If this German propaganda video is an indication of the world view that this lady had, it is safe to say that Mary Uland believed that Islam is a religion of peace which respects women. Now who is responsible for all this? Of course the perpetrators are responsible. But who is responsible for misleading these girls to such an extent that they naively went on a hike in Morocco? A child you can teach anything. In India children who get raised on the existence of a caste system will at later age have a very hard time getting rid of this idea. A child that gets raised on Islam at later age probably will be a very strict Muslim who can't deal with criticism on his ideology. A young child simply has no defense against bad ideas. So who taught these girls that all cultures are equal? Who taught these girls that Islam isn't hostile to non-Muslim women? Who taught these girls that all people no matter from which culture they are are nice and friendly? What people in Germany created this propaganda video? Was it perhaps Perhaps the populist far right who taught the Facebook friends of this girl that taking a hike on Mount Tupkal is perfectly safe and that there's really no need to warn a blonde non-Muslim girl about this. What politicians in Europe are spreading these type of ideas to young people? 
I'd say that the leftists are guilty of this. We've had a Swedish woman preventing the deportation of an abusive Afghan, a Dutch journalist who helped the Syrian terrorist getting false papers to get in her own country, and we've had a Danish girl and a Norwegian girl going on a hike in the mountains of a Muslim country. Given the state of the education system in Northern and Western Europe, I suspect that we are going to see more of these type of atrocities in the near future. A new generation is getting raised on these ridiculous ideas as we speak so parents be aware because ideas have real life consequences never allow leftists to educate your children my name is Luisa a young lady from Denmark with a burning desire about going into the Arctic and to represent Denmark in the Fjellreon polar expedition 2018 I'm very enthusiastic about outdoors and outdoor activities